Hello everyone, welcome to this new video on this channel. Today we'll do something really special. We will code a complete um, text-to-speech synthesizer with Python. And uh, in the next video, I think it's the first two video. In the next video, um, I will deploy it online so you can play with it. So I'll show you the process of creating a really good text-to-speech synthesizer and the process of deploying it online on the web server and then sharing your URL so your friends or whoever can play with it. So let's get started. In order to create a text-to-speech synthesizer in Python, we need some basic modules. And to install those modules, we need pipe. I hope you have Python installed on your computer. So Python commit pipe. So the, the thing that we have to do is just install TTS5 pipe, for example. Right now, I have TTS my computer, so I don't need to install it anymore, but you have to install this before. And then let's create a file called tts.py. And this file will just remind you to install a requirement. Requirements. And uh, this will be pip install tts. Okay. And the next step is to import all the modules that we will need to use. Perfect. So we have to go in the TTS module and import a synthesizer. So we have to do from TTS dot uh, utils dot synthesizer. Import synthesizer. Hope I wrote it right. Um, then the, I think it's synthesizer with three S and then hash here. Yes, and then kind of okay. Great. And uh, we need to define some variables like the path where synthesizer is actually installed in, on my computer. This is let me check. This is um, here in this path home slash home slash everything slash anaconda slash lib slash python 3 but 9 uh, slash start packages yeah and in this folder there is a file called modded.json that we need to import and it will, this will give us uh, some parameters for the models and after that we need um, the manager, the manager will help us to load some model, to download the model actually, and to download some vocoders. So we need to import the model manager from TTS. The tutorials that um, manage import model manager. Okay, wait, I'm just call manager here. Model manager. No, no. Model manager is equal to model manager of path this will yeah okay great and then the next step is to load the model path then the config path and the model item and for that we go to the manager And then you call the function call download model. And for that, we pass the, the link or the directory where we have the models. And uh, in this case, I think the default directory we have model in TTS, we can see it on GitHub. It's actually TTS model slash uh, language. We can just see it by typing here. TTS after you have installed TTS uh, yeah, list models and we will see the list of all models 
uh, you will see you can just take the one you have downloaded so I will just take this one okay yes and then perfect okay and then after that we need the synthetizer variable we need to create a synthetizer instance I don't know, just got it sent. Is equal to synthetizer. No, 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 synthetizer. And for that, we pass a lot of parameters. The first one will be TTS um, checkpoints. And we pass the model path that we had previously. You have to pass the TTS config file also. Pass the config file that we have that we had previously. Okay, great. And then the, um, here we can pass some text. For example, text is equal to I am a text created by a computer. And then we continue by defining the output as being our variable sent things called sent yeah dot tts and we pass the text and then we just do sent dot save wave save waves outputs and then we pass a file, a random file name, like audio.wave, for example. We save it, and then we try it here. Python, by typing python tts.py. Okay, um, synthesizer, I think the problem comes from the way I um, actually import it. I can install synthesizer, or synthesizer, 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 something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. synthesizer so no no that's not the way it's small yes and then the model works and uh, we get an audio let's play this audio moment I browse to the audio so I can play it I am a text reader by a computer. Uh, it's actually really bad. I am a text reader by a computer. Yeah, it's working, but it is actually really bad. We have to add a second module out of it. I mean, we have to add a vocoder to make it sound more human. And for that, we will import vocoder here. We'll use the same model manager to download the vocoder. And we call it vocoder. Voc path, um, voc config path also. Yes, and then a random, a random. Just need this. Is equal to manager. Download. Model manager. Download. Model. and in this case we use a model item and in model item the model item we had previously and in this model item item we get the default vocoder name default vocoder yes so we can know now pass the vocoder here call vocoder vocoder checkpoint yeah, vocoder checkpoint is equal to vocoder path, Voc voc path there, and then vocoder config path. Config path. It's actually the same the same thing somehow. Vocoder config is equal to voc config path. I think it's called funk. Let's correct that. Voc 
config path. Yeah, perfect. So let's try that again. Perfect. Let me play it. I am a text reader by a computer. Seems better. Seems far more better. Okay, so let's test it further. So what I will do is actually paste a really long text. It comes from the um, last uh, blog post in on your life AI. I will just try to read it and see what it gives. It will take time and it will use computer resources. Let me play it for you so you can see the output. Hello, every. This is the fourth index of in this index. We will show something a bit more technical. We will be preprocessing all of the data sets that we have downloaded from the last index. As usual here, if the video link from YouTube, but this article will be more detailed. It seems not bad at all. I think there's some punctuation problems, but I will check again with uh, other, another text to see if the problem comes from the text or the synthesizer. So let me test that. Okay. Play again. Wait. It will launch the notebook, and you will be able to write and debug your app easily. Firstly, we need to import the packages that we will be using. Great. I think that's perfect. Okay, so uh, I think it's all for today. It's really simple. I'll post this code on GIST and put the link down in the description. And uh, in the next video, I will just try to optimize this synthesizer and deploy it online so you can test it yourself. So, see you in the next video. Bye.